today yeah, marks the commemoration of June 3, and the yeah. Kole Klote Municipal Chief Executive Samuel Ni Ajay Taria has denied claims by some survivors of the disaster that they are yet to be compensated by government. And speaking on the sidelines of a memorial service to mark the sixth anniversary of the incident, he indicated that their medical bills were fully paid by the elsewhere Mahama led NDC administration. The memorial service for victims of the June 3, 2015 flood and fire disaster was held at the epicenter near the Kwame Nkrumah interchange. The disaster claimed over 150 lives and left many more physically and emotionally injured. Some survivors claim they are yet to be compensated by government. <laughs> I have a lot of issues to deal with. Some of us have been forced to sleep on the street. Some have gone mad, whilst others have died. No government has given us any form of compensation. The Kole Klote Municipal Chief Executive, Samuel Ni Ajay Tayua, who represented the government, so the Aswal Mahama administration compensated the survivors by paying their medical bills. When this whole thing happened, government and other stakeholders spent a lot of money taking care of our brothers and sisters in the various hospitals, etc. So a lot of money has gone into that. The victims tend to think that some support that they had came from outside this country. But when such things happen all over the world, other countries come to contribute uh, their quota by ways, means of support for, to the government of the country. So whatever support came from overseas to add to what government had and was disbursed, my understanding is that they've been looked after. He is, however, uncertain if there would be any subsequent compensation or relief for the survivors. I'm not able to say whether something is going to come or nothing will come. I can't say, but uh, I know some monies have been paid. Rates were laid by the Kole Klote Municipal Assembly, Traditional Authority and the June 3 Flood and Fire Victims Association. Communications Director of the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, George AC, has also refuted claims by the survivors of the June 3 disaster of not being compensated by government when they were afflicted in 2015. Uh, we set up a committee mm. uh, to look at those issues and in fact the committee admitted some other people later and other than were given compensation is that they will not accept the use of the word compensation because it's their medical bills. But mm. interestingly, under President Mahama, President Mahama took their medical bills. Mm. Okay? Mm. These are facts. Their bills at the hospital and co was paid by government under President Mahama. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then so those who lost their lives, some amounts of money were given to them, 10000 per family. And okay. then uh, in the grading of the injuries and co, between I think 5,000 up to 8,000 and then even 10,000 was given to people depending on. And one guy who was admitted at 37, even up to now, had about 30,000. And even that's not enough. We need to raise additional to go and support him. Mm -hmm. The Benin government supported them through the government of Ghana. And when the 200,000 came, there was a committee that sat and they said, no, once the previous government is giving some up to 10,000, mm. it will not be good to do anything below that, especially for people who lost their families. Mm. Okay, and so all of those family people were given the rest. Sometimes the challenges were, who takes the thing on behalf of the family? The paternal, maternal, but those were resolved by the committee. Mm. Okay, and so ultimately they took the money.